Search and rescue operations are underway in the Ukrainian cities of Kyiv and Kharkiv following Russian airstrikes. Emergency personnel have been going through the rubble looking for survivors in Kharkiv. Residential buildings and cars were damaged in the attack. Robert Bride joins us now from the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. And Rob, those casualties in yesterday's uh, attacks continue to rise. Uh, the biggest wave for weeks. Yeah, that's right. This was an extremely sustained uh, attack uh, targeting uh, various locations across Ukraine. The latest uh, casualty figures that we have now is uh, 18 people confirmed uh, dead with more than 130 uh, people injured. Now, these casualty figures continue to mount as search operations have been continuing well into the hours of darkness Tuesday, uh, as, as well as the actual attacks themselves. Uh, the second city here in Ukraine, Kharkiv, they, they uh, sustained a third wave of missiles late on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, a total of uh, 200 sites are reckoned to have been hit across Ukraine with more than 100 uh, residential buildings impacted in one way or another. Some buildings, of course, completely destroyed. And uh, President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine uh, spoke about this in his nightly address, talking about the complex mix of missiles that Russia has been using in attacks uh, such as this one. Some 40 missiles, he says, uh, were used, a mix of cruise and ballistic missiles. And concerningly for the Ukrainians, although 50 percent of those do seem to have been intercepted, that means, of course, around half uh, got through. And this comes as uh, key allies such as the United States are still holding back on uh, aid pa military aid packages worth billions of dollars, which include much needed uh, munitions as this winter continues and uh, Russia continues its uh, air campaign against targets in Ukraine. Robert Bradford there in Kyiv. Thank you.